Walnut Canyon was the home of the Sinagua American Indian tribe. They were so named by the Franciscan friars accompanying the Spanish conquistador Coronado and his trek across the west. They called the mountains of Sierra Sinagua, mountain without water, and the former residence there, Sinagua. For the Sinaguas, it was an incredible feat, building dwellings inside the erosions along the cliff. Let's take a stroll by the cliff dwellings and see what they look like. After descending the 254 steps from the ranger station and crossing a footbridge, you can look back to your right and see one of the cliff dwellings. When you turn back to the trail, you can look across the canyon and see how small the rooms are when compared with the size of the footprint. Looking down the trail through the tree limbs, you get your first glimpse of the main body of the world. The next picture is a Photoshop concept of how the erosion could have looked before the dwellings were constructed. How the walls were formed along the eroded roofs in the cliff walls is not fully known. However, the workmanship is impressive. Notice how clean and sharp the leading cornerstone is shaped in this picture. For some of the mud as we rode it away, a more clear view of the construction is available. Isn't it interesting how nicely the walls of these cliff dwellings were constructed? Here we see the use of a flat rock capstone to connect the sides of the doorway.
It looks like the cooking smoke was removed through some sort of exhaust port in the front wall. The hiker in the next scene gives perspective to the relationship between a human being and the size of the room. These stairs take us down to the next level of the trail. be able to have a look at some ruins across this narrower part of the pit. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the walk.